Now, straight out of Starfleet and in the studio with us today are the Trekkie Girls, a group that takes fandom where no fan has gone before. They take their passion for science fiction all over to meet with both the stars of the original series and all that has come since. And with a brand new series set to hit our screens this year, who better to bring us up to speed? Well, thank you girls for coming in to see thank me. Thank you for having me. Yes, and indeed, thank you. I'm going to show a little bit of my geeky side here. So we're uniform wise, we're thinking Wrath of Khan. Yes. Well done, yeah. Excellent. The, the fox or the monster, <laughs> monster marines, marines yeah. as they're called. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So why did you choose these uniforms maybe over the original ones? We, we, have, we have original series mm -hmm. uniforms as well. Mm -hmm. um, we had, these are the only ones that we've sort of had specially made. This was a bit of an investment piece for us. Okay. And these are, you know, statement pieces. I was going to say, it's always been my favourite. From mm. when I first saw it in the Rathcon years ago, I absolutely fell in love with the uniform mm. and it's always been my favourite. So, yeah. Always wanted one, so excited to have one. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it about Star Trek specifically that you've kind of latched onto? I mean, obviously, with all the, the plethora of sci fi out there, I mean, I'd like to think of myself as an all purpose geek. Mm. I like Star Wars, Star Trek, all that, but, but why Star Trek specifically? It's this idyllic view of the future, mm -hmm. like where everyone's come together and is working together for an idealistic world. Mm. It's just amazing. Are we huge geeks? We like other oh, sci fi yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, but, you know, we won't deny. Trek <laughs> bonded us. Yeah. And it's nice that you say Bonnie because there is actually three of you in the group. There One, unfortunately, couldn't be here tonight. No, we're a woman down. We are a woman down. <laughs> She's travelling the world. But was it the, the love of Star Trek that brought you guys together? Yeah, in a, in a way. Like, back in school, me and Sam were big Star Trek nerds. <laughs> and we used to bore Sarah about it a lot. And maybe five years ago, we decided that we would share our passion with Star Trek on social media. And we enlisted Sarah to be our tit. It was a bit, <laughs> bit of a dare, really. It was a bit of a dare, yeah. Trekkie in training. So she's oh, our okay. Trekkie so in training. So threw the gauntlet down yeah. and uh, we haven't looked back since. It's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. And it's, your passion for the, the show has taken you all over the world to meet the stars, as we said there. Yeah. I've done some amazing things. So, I, um, I won a competition mm -hmm. to um, LA last mm -hmm. year, which was amazing. We. Uh, we were at the dedication of Leonard Nimoy Way okay. in the um, Paramount Studios, which was which was really really lovely. And you guys have been to Germany, Vegas, wow. yeah. yeah, all over. Mm -hmm. And it was actually at the Sci-Fi Ball where I first met you guys, and mm -hmm. we were both there to meet Gates McFadden, yeah. obviously the the Doctor from the Our Next local, Generation. Yeah. Our local yeah. event. Yeah, we really love the SF Ball. Well, yeah, it's a really good it's event. It's really special. Um, it's a really intimate relationship with the stars who are there and the other fans as well. It's just a really great atmosphere. Mm. Excellent. And of course, obviously, the main thing that we're here to talk about, we've got a new series coming out based kind of loosely around the revival that J.J. Abrams movies mm -hmm. have brought around. And we've maybe kind of Enterprise, not quite what the fans wanted. Some of them obviously die hard, mm -hmm. really pleased with it. Yeah. But what are your hopes and aspirations for the new series? Uh, we hope they deal with, like, Star Trek has always pushed the boundaries on portraying social issues mm -hmm. and we hope to see some like transgender characters okay. and um but we also like to see a bit there's gaps in the history so fill in some of those stories mm -hmm. that we've only you know had nuggets of a bit like how the klingons look so different exactly. in the original series to yeah. when you get to wharf in yeah. the yeah. next generation and so, stuff yeah, yeah stuff nice like that bridge some gaps mm -hmm. yeah. and do you have a favorite episode um mine is uh all, all good things. Mm -hmm. It's the last episode of the TNG, and I think it's the best way to end a series. It tied up all these little ends, loose ends, mm -hmm. and gave you a great glimpse at what the future held for the characters. Okay, amazing. I like Data's Day. Anything with Data in it is. <laughs> is <laughs> Data's Day is yeah. the one that sticks in my mind. I love his cameo in the Big Bang Theory as well, where he's like, "Oh, yeah. I haven't seen one of these." He rips open the packaging. Yeah. And yeah. 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 That's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I must awesome. admit, Brent Spiner is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, my favourite one is um, Trials and Tribulations, the oh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, nice. where they went back and yes. they were like so superimposed. Done. That was amazing. Yeah. Done. Yeah. That was a good, good episode. And uh, I mean, uh, one of my favourite pub quiz trivia questions is: um, Is it Gene Roddenberry is still the only human being to officially be? Buried at space. Oh wow! Wow! Um, yeah, I think when when he died, they put his ashes on one of the rockets and actually sent it up. And wow. so it's a, always a good pub quiz oh, one yeah. that people always forget about. <laughs> that, so. that is good. Yeah, <laughs> knowledge. Good knowledge. Good knowledge. And so, where are your travels going to be taking you next? What's the next convention that you're going to be at? Oh, we um, well, I say Sam's off. Sam's 
traveling as we speak um but we think there's one in germany fedcon later this year we hope to get to that there is talk we're trying to convince this one to come to <laughs> vegas this year and have yeah because it's the tng 30th anniversary so a big one it's another big one so okay and this is this is the question everybody hates but let's take all series all ships favorite captain the card janeway Good choice. Well, ladies, thank you very <laughs> much for joining me and geeking out with me on this sofa today. Yeah, That's all we've got time for. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you. you.